I've never liked that my only option for a countdown timer in Google Slides is to insert a YouTube video. I mean, it works, but you don't have control over the timer's appearance, and it never fits properly on my slides. Admittedly, I'm being particular, but hey, I like things to look nice. To try something different, I made some timers, some progress bar countdown timers using animations in Google Slides. I made them for a variety of durations. I used uh, one for 10 seconds up, 10 seconds down, and I also made some progress bar style ones uh, using one minute, three minutes, and five minutes and 30 seconds. All of these are just using um, simple shapes in Google Slides, and I'm fading them away with five seconds because five seconds is the maximum duration for any animation in Google Slides. Wish it was more, but this is all we have. So what, what I did is I stacked up a bunch of shapes and had them fade away five seconds at a time until it added up to one minute or three minutes or so on. Now, if you put a copy of my timer slides into your own Google Drive, then you will be able to go to the slideshow you're working on and import those slides. So file, import, find the timer slides, click insert, and then you will be able to select which slide to insert. So here you have all the slides. I'm going to choose the three minute one. You do want to uncheck keep original theme before you import. And then that slide gets dropped into your slideshow. I recommend now you want to go up to the layout and switch to one of the layouts that's in your actual theme. So I'm going to choose blank. And you do have to go to background and reset the background so it matches your actual theme. So now that you've imported the slide, it's empty, so you're going to have to get some content in there. So go ahead and copy and paste the content from a previous slide, or just add it to this empty slide, and then you'll be ready. Once you start that slideshow from that point on, it's going to, on the first click, trigger the timer and begin fading out those five-second blocks until three minutes has passed. Now, the last thing you might want to do is change the color of the progress bar. So click on it and then go up to the color selector and you'll see the last three colors of the theme. Those will be the color of the progress bar. So you can edit those colors and click the drop down and just go to the first color, which is the outside color. And you can see I can change that to red. It's going to change that timer. The next accent, accent five, is the color of each block that's fading away. So I made those a really sharp blue and then finally the last color accent six that's the color in between the blocks it's kind of the background in between so you can change that i made that black so that's probably the easiest way to change those colors but it does stay tied to your theme now you can directly change the color of the progress bar by selecting the different pieces but there's a couple different layers here so you have to click on it and you have to do order and send to back. That's the outside ring that we're sending to the back. Now, if I use the zoom function and zoom way in, you can see the pieces. So right now I have that kind of gold background. I have the light blue boxes, and then I have even a lighter blue, which is the color that's separating the boxes apart. And that one's easy to change. I can just go up to the color selector and change that. But if I want to change all the little individual five second blocks, that's going to take a little bit more work. So we got to zoom back out. Once we're zoomed out, we draw a box around the entire progress bar, selecting all the objects in there. And then we're going to have to zoom in again. And we're going to hold, after we zoom in, we're going to hold the control key down and deselect some of the outside pieces. So I'm going to deselect the outside border and I'm going to deselect the background, the in between color. So once I do that, you'll notice the color indicator has switched to blue. That means only the blue box are selected. Now I can pick a different color for all the blue fade out blocks. Maybe I make that green. Now, maybe I don't like that with the background color, so I can select the background color again. I just have to be careful where I click. And once I can click on there, um, I can click on that background color and change that maybe to something that works better with the blocks. Then the last one is the outside border color. I can change that to anything once I select that. Uh, maybe I make it purple. I'm kind of going for an Incredible Hulk theme here. And then finally, I need to bring that back to the front so it covers up those little corners. And then I can zoom out and my timer has been recolored.
Then after that, the only thing maybe left to do is change the three minutes label color so that it has a, a color that works with the theme that you've selected. And then you're ready to go. Your progress bar is ready to be used for your presentation.